I completely overhauled Skyrim with only 200 mods. That's right, there's only 200 mods in this load order. And it isn't a, just a visual only list. It actually includes a bunch of gameplay overhauls as well. As you can see, Amran is over here, dripped out in new gear. So are the Whiterun guards. So is my character. Uh, gore exists, meaning interesting NPCs are in here. Cities have been overhauled. Now, here is what I did. So first of all, I had to be very selective about which all-in-ones I chose. My goals for this is I wanted to make sure every city, every major hold capital, ended up getting touched a little bit. So for the uh, closed cities, I ended up using Dawn of Skyrim. And then for the uh, smaller hold capitals, I ended up using Cities of the North. So you have Cities of the North, Falkreath, uh, Winterhold, Dawnstar, Morthal. And uh, textures have been overhauled as well, as you can see. Again, I had to use uh, a bunch of all-in-ones that I thought were good and very fitting. But Skyland was my big base. Now, the great thing about Skyland is it covers landscapes, it covers most clutter, and it covers architecture as well. But then I did overwrite a bunch of the architecture with some other mods. So this is Tomatoes White Run textures as well as Tomatoes landscapes. Uh, the other cities have been overhauled with various things as well. Now, the armor and weapons come from Sentinel, which is a Sky Patcher mod created by Thaldor. And it's honestly one of the best uses of Sky Patcher that I've ever seen. It adds a bunch of new weapon and armor variants and distributes them through the world. And it even um, is integrated with the Anniversary Edition uh, Creation Club content. So it, it will distribute the Anniversary Edition alternative armors as well uh not just that animations have been overhauled as you can see third person animations are overhauled using the new bfco mod meaning you can do jump attacks and underwater attacks there's even dual parry i'm actually using v to block instead of right click i added dodging mechanics and i even added first person animations along with precision I really tried to pack as much as I possibly could in this mod list. Now, obviously, there are some limitations of what I could and couldn't include in 200 mods. And I gave myself that specific limit. Anything that showed up as an active uh, mod in Mod Organizer 2, even my output. So Dindalod, TextGen, LogGen, all I counted as three different mods in that count of 200 lods obviously have been generated grass is redone so are trees with the nature of the wildlands mod there's true direction movement smooth cam all of the creatures are fluffy as you can see with the fluff works mod as well as uh, belly aches creatures dragons have been reworked with uh, new textures there are even uh, gameplay overhauls. For example, I used Vokrii as the perk system. I used uh, Pilgrim as the religion mod. Um, and I used NI's race, ooh, race and standing stone mod for races and standing stones. Apocalypse for magic. Growl for werewolves sacrosanct for vampires so i left no stone unturned not to mention it does have the unofficial patch as well as the unofficial modders patch as well as some other necessary fixes like display tweaks um engine fixes things like that some of the uh most important bug fixes obviously there are going to be things that can be fixed via different mods that I wasn't able to include. Most of those are smaller bugs that you don't encounter uh, too often from uh, Bethesda Jank. Even the UI is overhauled with Nordic UI, as well as True HUD and More HUD, as well as More HUD Inventory Edition. 
Honestly, I was surprised at how much I could fit in with 200 mods. Now, obviously, as I look around, there's certain things that I notice, and I'm like, man, I really wish I could break my limit to fix that one little thing. And it really goes to show you can fit a lot into 200 mods, but at the same time, you won't really get the exact list that you want if you set yourself a hard limit. Or do I think there's a reason to in 2024. For example, there's not a lot of good IV mods out there that aren't uh, a singular texture or mesh replacer, as well as moss. And I would love to uh, replace the moss that I have in this with something else, but alas. Or for example, I do really like the Manaz, uh, or not Manaz, the uh, men here, standing stone models. The standing stone meshes but that is a that would be another mod that i would add although the uh retexture which i believe is from skyland does look pretty good even at things like uh clothes rustic clothing is good but uh for example zav bio has really nice robe retextures and those would be great to add as well but all of these things the pickier you get when it comes to uh, modding, I think the uh, you know more bloated a list can become, and you're wasting well not wasting but uh, you're spending a lot of space on you know one or two things to be retextured or one or two minor things to be changed, which can lead to a great experience, but it can obviously lead to uh, you know the bigger a list gets, the more potential conflicts you have with stuff as well as space being taken up takes longer to load up, things like that. So this mod list, you can actually download. It installs through Wabajack. If you have Nexus Premium, it automatically installs for you, complete with a stock game folder, so it won't interfere with your base Skyrim install whatsoever. Meaning, um, if you have yourself a mod list already and you don't want it to get touched, then you can uh, freely get this and it won't mess around with your mod list. Now, the other thing is if you don't have Nexus Premium, you only have to get, click the download button 200 times. And it seems like a lot, but it's really not that bad. And it's probably still not as bad as, uh, you know, manually doing all of this yourself, just loading the LODs or running the lots will probably take up more time than installing this. Well, I didn't know you actually get your money back from uh, the bandit if you pay them. I'm just gonna do that every time. You can see the landscapes actually have uh, parallax. Oh, that's another thing I didn't mention. There's ENB, cabbage ENB, and nat three weather. So all of the major bases have been covered. Water has been redone through Simplicity of Sea. I think at the end, it makes for a pretty nice little experience. So the list, you can get it from my Discord server. It's in the announcement section. I don't think I'll put it up on the Wabajack UI, maybe one day in the future, but for now, you can just get the Wabajack installer on my Discord. And uh, from there, just double click it, point the folders to where they need to go, and it, it will automatically install for you. I've had some people testing out. They haven't really run into many issues. They say they've been having a lot of fun. And honestly, I was having fun playing it earlier. If you wanna see more gameplay footage of it, you can go look at my stream and uh, yeah, just check it out. It's a cool little list. I might do some more of these little challenges uh, in the future because this only took me a day to make. And for a day's work, honestly, it kind of uh, fit together pretty well. Maybe I can do a 100 mod mod list that's visual only, so no gameplay at all. And kind of see if uh, if I can uh, accomplish anything with that, that would be a pretty cool challenge, I think. 
make it look as good as possible with only 100 mods. Anyway, guys, hopefully you uh, check this out if you want to. It's uh, a lot of fun. If you want just something very simple, um, not too many mods. And given how light it is, you can obviously easily add stuff yourself if you feel that anything is missing and there won't be too many conflicts. Anyway, I will catch you guys next time.